Hackett. My man Greg Foreign Hackett. <laughs> Terrell Caldwell. What's good, bro? What's up with you? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Um, big weekend of boxing. Your man Tim Zhu. Successful against uh, Brian Mendoza, unanimous decision. Yeah. Uh, even dropped Mendoza. Caught him with a good shot. Couldn't finish him, though. Um, that was his first defense of his newly won WBO. Yeah. What'd you think of that fight? Um, yeah, I think I think Mendoza was nervous. He was shooting, but he was nervous. I mean, he was nervous because all the extra movement he was giving me. He was he was trying to get the fuck out of there. So I had it in his mind. I mean, I, I had it in my mind that he had in his mind that Tim Zoo punched harder than anybody he ever been in the ring. With. <laughs> I mean, that was the kind of movement he was giving me. I ain't like it. Um, Tim Zoo at the same time he he. He average when it comes to fundamentals. He's an average fighter when it comes to fundamentals. What make him not average is he mean the shit he's shooting. I mean, when, when, when I shoot at you, this is something real. I'm not shooting no bullshit at you. Mm. I'm not trying to play with you. I'm trying to knock you out. And his demeanor is I'm trying to knock you out. His face don't change. He got a poker face all the way through the fight. Uh, he's, he, he zeroed in on his target all the way through the fight. I mean, and he trying to get you out of there because him and his best is knocking you out, not not for going the distance with you, you know what I mean? So I think Mendoza just didn't bring his full confidence. I felt like he came to fight, but it wasn't like I really go win. It was like, uh, guys got this thing survive in their mind and they wanting to survive because they don't believe in their skill set. They don't believe in their power. They don't believe in their aggression. They don't believe in their own confidence where I can actually beat this guy. They, they looking at this guy and the other guys are doing it with certain fighters as if they already lost the fight. So in your mind, if you already lost the fight, you're not going to be yourself. You know what I mean? Mm. You're going to go out there and you're going to do too much. So that's how I felt about the fight. He did too much moving around. He didn't really establish who he was and what he was what he was trying to really do. He, he let Tim Zhu mentally beat him. And you can see it from the first round on. He did pretty good. I mean, he didn't get clipped, got put down. But he didn't bring... Brian Mendoza that we know. I mean the warlord that we that we that had us tuned in, that had people betting their money on him. I mean he didn't really have that. He didn't bring that. It's kill switch. He didn't bring that. Is Tim Zoo ready for a Cholo? Yeah, I mean we, whenever God becomes this guy that's you know, this big scary guy from from wherever, I mean the best you can do is get him in there with the best. Because he beating up all the average guys. Or had guy, all the guys whose level had dropped, um, who have losses. And it's not about the losses, but the guys who they show holes in their armor. Now let me put him up against whoever the best. And the best at 54 is Jamel Charlo. So and Jamel Charlo need a win over like a guy like Tim Zoo. Because Tim Zoo is getting the eye of the people. Tim Zoo is the real deal. So Jamel Charlo fight Tim Zoo after the fight he just had. Some of his respect and honor would be restored. You know what I mean? That's what you want next, bro? Tim Zucharlo? That'd be a good job. I want mine. It's a good fight. <laughs>